And Mark New sat down with Powerhouse's CEO, Emily Kirsch, to find out more on how technology and politics are impacting the booming solar industry. Mark began by asking Kirsch how Powerhouse, the world's only intelligent energy-focused incubator and accelerator, got its start. We started Powerhouse in 2013, and it all came about because my former boss, Van Jones, who was a former advisor to President Obama, um, has done political commentary on CNN. He was friends with the singer Prince, who passed away last year, and Prince wanted to do solar work in Oakland, and he gave a grant to a startup called Mosaic, and I worked with Mosaic on their first few projects here in Oakland, loved it, and wanted to do that similar kind of work with other intelligent energy entrepreneurs, uh, and so teamed up with my co-founder. Danny Kennedy to provide capital connections and space and customer connections to entrepreneurs that are just getting started. What is the ultimate mission for Powerhouse? Ultimately, Powerhouse wants to make intelligent energy the most affordable and accessible form of energy in the world in our lifetime. And we believe that we can accomplish that by supporting entrepreneurs. And by intelligent energy, we mean using software innovation and financial solutions to bring down the cost of renewable energy and make it the most accessible form of energy in the world. So Powerhouse is so far the world's first and only incubator and accelerator dedicated to intelligent energy. So we've housed 43 startups and orgs since we started in 2013 and we've invested in 16. Tell me some promising things happening here. Really interesting applications for a newer technology called blockchain, a transaction processing platform that allows people to uh, make purchases and transactions through digital currency. Isn't that related to Bitcoin, right? Exactly, exactly. Bitcoin is one of the digital currencies that's traded using blockchain technology. And one of the startups we recently invested in is using the blockchain to finance commercial and industrial scale solar projects in emerging markets. And so any of us, anyone around the world can invest in solar projects, make a 10% return over the next 20 years and help a school or a hospital or a business go solar that otherwise might not be able to access financing. And have you had any companies go public? So we joke that Powerhouse is your first friend in a friends and family round. So we are usually the first money in and so by the time they exit, it'll be five to seven years from now is what we anticipate. None of the investments that we've made into startups have led to them uh, exiting or going public yet, but four of the companies that were in our incubator in the co-working space have been acquired or merged with other entities in the intelligent energy space, and we think there'll be a lot more M&A activity as we continue to grow. Tell us about the solar market in general right now. Um, last year, I think, was a record year. Uh, it doubled uh, the size of the market before, and I, I think they said the next five years it will triple. Solar and intelligent energy more broadly, it's the fastest growing energy industry in the world. That's only going to accelerate. Fossil fuel is a finite resource. It gets more expensive over time despite some peaks and dips. Uh, solar and other intelligent energy is a technology and just like every other technology with whether it's your cell phone or your, your laptop those costs continue to come down and in large part that's due to the kind of manufacturing that's been happening in countries like china that have really been the pioneers in making panels affordable over the last five years the cost of a panel has dropped 90 percent that has made solar ubiquitously available to people who otherwise never had access to it. Corporate involvement, also in Silicon Valley too, has been an important factor in solar adoption. Absolutely. Uh, corporations like Google and Facebook and Apple have all made 100% renewable commitments, and Google in particular is poised to reach their 100% renewable goal this year, which given the amount of energy that they consume, especially for their data centers, is absolutely incredible. And they are setting the standard and the bar for what corporates are expected to do if they want to achieve their own energy independence and have clean energy that's powering every Google search that, that someone makes is going to be powered by renewable energy. We've had quite a bit of momentum in the, the solar industry. A new administration which has emphasized a lot of traditional sources like coal, for example. What's your take on whether the current administration's policies are hurting uh, the advancement of solar or are they not changing anything? Solar and intelligent energy more broadly is unstoppable, regardless of administration, policy incentives. This transition to 100% renewable energy is going to happen, uh, regardless of who is in power. Federally speaking, Trump ran on a platform of creating jobs, and no other industry is creating jobs in energy at a rate higher than solar and intelligent energy. So when it comes to creating good-paying jobs, um, solar is one of the best ways to do that for Americans across the country. And he has had some pro-solar initiatives. It's one of the most uh, bipartisan areas of support, surprisingly, and 
I don't think there's any administration that can stop this transition. So far, the Trump administration hasn't swayed one way or the other too much, but there is an important decision coming up. Trump will have to make a decision about a trade case that's pending, and a decision will likely be made in the next month on whether to double the price of imported solar panels. And if this passes, it would have a negative impact on the solar industry in the U.S. Um, ultimately, if Trump does want to create jobs and have the country achieve energy independence uh, and give people a choice in where their energy comes from, then uh, ensuring that we can continue to access affordable panels from around the world is the right thing to do.